Well, I can tell you, Mkolisi, that it is excitement all round. It's a high of activity at the school. The MEC earlier on announced the result. To much fanfare and excitement of the learners, the school has registered a 92.6% improved pass rate. Uh, last year, it was 78.6%. And the year before that, it was 70.1%. So it's a whooping and a staggering increase to this year. We know that the Western Cape overall, they've achieved 81.4%. That is another increase of 0.2%. But they dropped a little from their normal uh, top three uh, spot. I want to ask the MEC about that uh, later on in Mkolisi. Uh, but the overall top achiever is from the Western Cape. The top mathematician student overall in the country is from the Western Cape as well. And this story as well of Hector Peterson, it's in an impoverished area which is nestled uh, by, uh, by informal settlement, in, uh, sprawling informal settlement in this area. Let me bring in uh, MEC David many to us. Uh, Minister, welcome to SAPC News. You've been excited today. I saw you announcing the results. You had your hands up in the air. Just talk to us about these results overall since last night. Well, as you know, we're here at Hector Peterson Secondary School, and you can hear behind you that the school is on uh, fire. Uh, as you said, I mean, this school has continually improved its pass rate and has exceeded its target of 85% and in fact achieved uh, a target of 92.6%, which is a huge celebration for us. And I think it uh, symbolizes uh, the excellent results in the Western Cape where we achieved an 81.4% uh, uh, pass rate. Uh, despite this uh, cohort of candidates experiencing uh, huge challenges, particularly as a result of the pandemic. And for us, all credit goes to the principals, the teachers, the district officers, and of course the parents, and then to the learners who never gave up and delivered a great result. Let me see at some point you were number one, but two, you've been in the top three. You've been somewhat uh, part of this trajectory of the improvement of Mexico pass rate uh, around the country. Now you are on number four, isn't that concern? What could you attribute that to? Well, we are squarely uh, focused on uh, our pass rate, uh, not our rank, because our rank is often uh, a function of uh, lower retention. And in the Western Cape, we have always focused on high rates of in, uh, retention. And in fact, this year we had the biggest cohort ever to write matric with over 60 thousand uh, learners writing uh, matric and we are very proud of the fact that uh, we almost 50,000 of those learners passed matric and so we've extended opportunities to over 50,000 young people who are now eligible to apply to universities and to colleges and we think that that will position them well for a much brighter future here in South Africa. A school like this, which is in an, an impoverished area, it's nestled by informal settlements. What quantile is this school and also how important is it for you, for such schools, to show uh, such an improvement? Well, we've had a huge focus in our quintile one to three uh, schools, and this is a school in quintile one uh, to three where we've seen uh, a huge improvement uh, in our, our results. And we also, of course, proud of the fact uh, that the second placed learner in quintile two overall in the country comes from uh, the uh, Western Cape. Let's talk about uh, the accolades that you've received. The top overall achiever in the whole country is from the Western Cape, top mathematician, and the second sport is also from here. Talk to us about the, some of the accolades that you've received and what they mean for the province. So we also focus uh, on not just the pass rate, but also the, the quality of our passes. And as you said, we're very proud of the fact uh, that we have the top overall uh, learner in the country. Uh, we have the top uh, learner in mathematics. We have the top learners in quintile uh, one to three. At one, sorry, we have three uh, top learners in quintile five. And of course, we also have the second placed uh, learner in quintile three. So we have uh, delivered some excellent quality uh, passes here in the Western Cape. Those students who couldn't make it and those who want to improve their results, are they receiving any form of counselling? 
Well, if there are any learners that are disappointed uh, by their results, they of course have some options uh, to do rechecks, uh, to do uh, re-examinations. Um, but if there are any learners who are distressed, uh, please reach out to a teacher, reach out to a parent, uh, or indeed, uh, if you are, are cannot, uh, you are welcome to call our Safe Schools uh, hotline. And we have counsellors on standby, uh, which will be able to support and uh, assist. And also, I, mean, see, I must commend you because it's not very often you find all the learners that have passed to get admission to a university degree. How did you achieve that? What do you attribute that to? Well, I was just speaking to our district director, Landy Diamond, here in uh, the Metro East District. And what she's done uh, is a razor sharp focus, particularly on schools that uh, were uh, underperforming at about uh, 60%. Uh, and she has uh, held principals accountable uh, for achieving uh, targets. And I think uh, introducing that basic accountability into uh, the, the system has paid huge dividends. And you can see that not just in the Metro East uh, results, but also in the results uh, of Hector Peterson Secondary School. Congratulations and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was MEC David Mania of the Western Cape, just uh, crunching the numbers and also elaborating to us as to some of their achievement. You know, the Western Cape has improved by 0.2% to 81.4%. And also some of the challenges that are here, uh, we understand that over 49,000 learners, metric learners, have passed here in the Western Cape and all of them have received an admission to get into university, be it bachelor's degrees, diplomas and higher certificates. He attributes that to the focus that they've put on to schools that were performing at below 60% to make sure that there is discipline amongst them. He also touched on some other issues as well um, and also saying there will be uh, counselling as well for students uh, that feel uh, disappointed with the results that they have received but it is celebrations all around the people especially in this community it is between quintal 1 to quintal 3. Uh, government schools are categorised into different uh, quintiles from quintal 1 to quintal 5. Quintal 1 being one of the most poorest this area is in the underprivileged impoverished area and this school to receive such a fate it is quite uh, commendable and they are saying that they are doing all their best to put their resources and also to encourage uh, the schools here we understand that the principal had um, had envisaged to get 85 percent but his learners surpassed him and surprised him and achieved a whopping 92.6 percent uh, overall uh, increase for this so Atule, you spoke about what kind of a community Wallace D Dean is there and you know these are stories of young people really accomplishing and achieving a lot against the odds. Did you manage to have some conversations with some of these learners perhaps? Uh, um, we do have one of the parents who just came out of inside. I'm sorry to do stop you. I say, Thank you so much, Mkolisi. One of the elated parents, they just um, descended from that uh, gathering which was inside. So they are moving outside. We just managed to grab him and speak to him. He's very elated. He's excited. Uh, he's uh, attributing this to the cooperation that they have with the parents. But the learners are moving out of the school. Mkolisi, it's excitement all around. Uh, Hector Peterson High School has achieved a 92.6% uh, this year as an indigent school. Mkolisi, quite. Atule Joka out there for us. Thanks very much indeed for that update.